For years, industries and workplaces have talked a lot about having the right workstation, the right office chair to support your posture and spine. Well, there's another activity we've spent a lot of time doing. It also requires good support and positioning, and that's sleeping. There's no doubt of the importance of a good night's sleep. We spend at least one third of our lives sleeping, and a good night's sleep can make the difference between waking up with energy and vigor, it can make the difference between waking up tired and grumpy, waking up light and full of energy, or waking up stiff and slow. Of particular importance, and what I want to talk to you about in this video, is how essential it is to choose the right pillow of sleeping. And it can be quite confusing to select the right pillow. You know, you can choose pillows that are old school pillows, old school feather pillows, you can get anti-allergy pillows, latex pillows, feather pillows, pillows that stop you snoring, pillows that are filled with beans, pillows that are made of triangles, water pillows, memory foam pillows, full body pillows, pillows that help with sleep apnea, ones that are filled with beans. It can be really confusing and the list goes on and on and on and that can range from $10 to $300. Huge amount of investment and the problem is we can't try them and then take them back. So we end up with a household full of pillows. Most of them don't suit our needs. So what I want to do now is, is break it down. Let's have a look at the pillow purchase and some of the decisions we need to make when we're looking at the ideal pillow. We want to be able to keep it simple. So we talk about the ABCs of the pillows, the essential elements of a pillow when you're choosing one. So let's break that down. A is really for adjustable. Look for a pillow that you can get, that can be adjusted and modified to suit your particular body shape and size and build. There's no way known you can test a pillow at a shop. You can't test it on a table, on somebody else's bed, even a chiropractic office, different bed firmnesses will modify the gap between your neck and the, the bed, and which means you need to be able to modify it accordingly. A softer bed will allow you to sink in a little bit more, which means the pillow doesn't have to be as high. A firmer bed means you don't sink in as much, which means you're slightly higher pillow. So you want to be able to get a pillow that's adjustable so you can modify it in your own bed, at your own home, to suit your needs. The second thing you need to look at, the B of the ABCs of pillows, is what is it made of? What's the build of the pillow? Now there's lots of different things you can make out of it we saw earlier on, but you want to get a pillow that's made of a substance that's firm enough so it's going to maintain its shape not only overnight but over a number of years, but also soft enough so you're not going to feel like you're sleeping on a brick. And the third thing of the ABCs is the contour. There's a reason why it's contour. It's got to be able to support the head and support the neck. They don't line up like a, a ruler or something straight, so it needs to have that contour shape to be able to provide that support all the way through your spine. Now at Advanced Health Chiropractic, we've, we've looked at a lot of pillows over the years. Look at all those pillows that we saw earlier, ones made of foam, ones made of latex, ones made of all sorts of different shapes and sizes. And what we've realized is there's one brand that we keep coming back at and we've decided we're only gonna stock this brand because we've, we've stocked it over the last 10, 15 years and it's always come up trumps when we look at the ABCs or apply the ABCs of pillows. And that's the Complete Sleeper range. Now, if we have a look at the Complete Sleeper and, and use our ABCs, we look at the, the adjustability of it. Now, the, every single Complete Sleeper that we stock, there's sort of three different versions of them, they have 12 different adjustments you can make to suit you perfectly. Now this is one that's um, made of memory foam. They have inserts, they have high sides, low sides, have all sorts of things. So if we sort of break that down, look at the adjustability, you can choose the height that suits you. Remember we talked about you got different bed heights, you got different shoulder heights, you got different size bodies, um, different firmness of beds, you've got to have adjustability to be able to suit that perfectly. So if we look at just some of the four basic modifications you can make of the Complete Sleeper, you can start with just both inserts in it and that'll always um, suit most of the average, average size people. And then you can remove all the inserts um, to suit or you can remove one insert to suit. So you can modify depending on what your ideal requirements are or you can remove everything out of it for the, the, the slightly um, narrower build, narrow shoulders and so forth or even a softer bed so you can get that lower pillow. If we want to look at how to what to line up and how to set up the height of the pillow. There's a couple of landmarks you want to be able to look at. So if you choose to buy a pillow that's adjustable, this is important to know how to line them up. And you need somebody else to check this. If we're looking at somebody who's on their side, well, first of all, you need, you need a pillow that can suit both on your side and on your back. So you don't need different pillows or different setups. And the Complete Sleeper will do that because there's high sides and low sides um, and modifications to suit. Now, if you look at the, the person on the side, there's three landmarks you need to line up. In between the eyes, the middle of the nose 
and the middle of the chin. Now, if you've got that pillow surface set up perfectly, then they should line up nicely, which means your spine's gonna be nice and straight. If you're a side sleeper, that's gonna suit perfectly. If you're a sleeper on your back, then you wanna be able to line up your ear with the middle of your shoulder. Same thing again, if that's lined up perfectly and you've got the contour under the neck, you're gonna support that cervical curve and keep your spine nice and supported and strong and perfect posture as you're sleeping. So let's look at the build of the Complete Sleeper. The reason we like the Complete Sleeper is it comes with three different types of foam. Now the foam that you saw earlier, or this one that I've got next to me, that's made of the memory foam. But there's three different types of foam depending on how firm you like your pillow. So if you look at the traditional, or the original, original memory foam one, which is the one that I showed you earlier, that's generally for the, it's a slightly softer one, so your body, it feels a lot more comfortable. And if you're making that transition from a, a feather pillow into a, a firmer um, structured pillow, a contoured pillow, this is probably a good one to choose because it's a little bit softer than the average complete sleeper. Then there's a traditional foam. This is not a memory foam, but a traditional type of foam that is slightly firmer. It's probably better for the, the, the slightly broader or the heavier set people. And then you can go straight up to the memory foam plus, which is firmer again. So you've got the three different types of foams, three different types of complete sleepers, depending on what your needs are and also what your, your comfort. So let's look at the contour. Now all of the all the complete sleeper pillows have the same sort of contoured shape. Now it's a contour that is high on one side, it's low on side on the other side. So you can modify it accordingly. And the contour has been designed by health professionals. So you get that sort of perfect fit and perfect support for your spine. So you can make it match and, and know that you're gonna get perfect support throughout the entire night. Now what's cool about the complete sleeper, if you are one of those people that are coming from a um, a very soft feather pillow into a more structured pillow. They have these little um, tubes of, of foam that sit in the top and what you can do is you can remove them out of it, pull them out and it makes that top part a little bit softer so you can still get the same structure, same support underneath but it's a lot softer on top so you'll be able to adapt for it quite nicely and get that comfort almost straight away. Alright, that's it from me regarding pillows. Um, they're an important thing to, to get right. You can maximize your adjustments by getting a nice supportive pillow, make those adjustments last longer and longer, stay interference free, and, and wake up with energy and vigor. Wake up light and, and energized, not tired and, and feeling aching and sore. Get your pillow right because it'll make a world of difference.